Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is Dolce Waltz here, back again at the speed of light with week 2 of the Infinity Draft League. So, first week, we lost to Belly Drum Chestnut. Uh, don't even ask. So, the link to that battle will be in the description down below. Check it out. And if you see at the end of that battle, I said something. I said, I swear, I will win almost every single match in the league coming up. And I was really, 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 I wanted to like do it. So I actually prepped really well for this game and I will keep on prepping in the further games as well. So he was bringing Mandibus, Florges, Cobalion, Latios. Mega Absol and the pain of my existence, Darmanitan. <clears throat> okay, so I was so scared of Darmanitan, like literally. Think of it like this, like seriously. This is my team, and that is Darmanitan. When you add them together, it's literally so scary. Like when when the Manitan meets my team my team is literally torn into pieces I was so scared no forget torn it was like shred into pieces it will it, I was so scared that I was like my team will get shred into pieces ah <sighs> so anyways uh, before we begin this video let's hit that like button down below and let's get on to the battle as well so before we begin once again hit that like button down below if you like my content if you don't like it hit the dislike button tell me what I need to improve on uh, for more fun ideal matches for more fun uh, competitor Pokemon content and a coming up LP on my channel hit that subscribe button down below it really helps and share my video with others so that many more people can notice the amazing content that I'm keeping in front of you so guys, he was bringing Mandibus, Flogers, Cobalion, Latios, Darmanitan, and Mega Absol, like I said. And I was bringing Clefable, Arcanine, Mega Agron, uh, Vaporeon, then there is Hitmontop, and then there is Diggersby. So I had prepped really well for Clefable. I was bringing uh, physically bulky kind of set which uh, with uh, 252 HP 200 defense 56 uh, special defense and now believe it or not it was my counter to Cobalion the way it worked is that if it's not offensive then the Cobalion gets two hit KO'd by Clefable and I can lit uh, I can live one steel type hit not including the Roselli Berry so what I do is the Cobalion attacks me with a steel type move I go for a flamethrower cut it down into half and then after that it attacks me again with the steel type move this time the roselli berry is not there so wh why am I saying roselli berry that's for fairy the babiri berry is not there so basically I live it still cause I can live one hit according to calcs and I kill it off so uh, it had wish protect it had toxic and it had moon blast then I had a choice scarf arcanine Pretty basic 252 attack, adamant, 4 HP, 252 speed, flare blitz, uh, crunch, wild charge, and extreme speed. Then there was the aggron uh, with uh, rest, cause it against this team it literally lives for days, uh, except for the Darmanitan. And my aggron is the only Pokemon that can live a hit from the Darmanitan, from a choice banner Darmanitan, uh, max attack and all that. Flare blitz does. 80% so my plan was to use Agron so that he goes for the flare blitz I live and I managed to kill it and then rest up and get back to full because Mega Agron literally lives the whole game if I played well with rest then there I had Vaporeon I was not bringing Wish with uh, which I was uh, during the prep battles like the mock battles uh, that was really biting me in the butt because it, it really mattered because Vaporeon was not able to heal itself up so I was really scared into uh, going into this matchup that I might 
uh, need wish and but it won't be there and I'll just mess it up and so I was really scared about that um, so I had heal bell on it uh, to help Agron and Diggers B etc also the Clefable Cosmic Clefable was unaware I don't want to get swept again especially from the uh, from certain mons like Mega Absol mainly so I brought heal bell I bought toxic I bought uh, scald and for the tentacruel which he did not bring I had synchronized I really wanted to use it but of course not he does not bring the tentacruel at all I was uh, I was really feeling bad just cause I wanted to use that synchronize then after that I had him on top with rapid spin mark punch bullet punch and sucker punch like literally I love using him on top as a priority machine with a technician by the way not intimidate then I had my sweeper diggers B because once the uh, a Porygon 2 which he has but he did not bring and Mandibus is kind of weakened uh, I had an agility set agility return quick attack earthquake so with that set it literally sweeps once Mandibus uh, is at half so I had uh, I wanted to save it for late game and just uh, bring his team low using my stall and stuff and then I can just sweep so these were my sets uh, uh, so let's just get on with the battle and share with you the result and the fun that happened during this battle so let's just get on so I opened uh, with Mega Agron as he led with Cobalion so I uh, he led with Cobalion probably rocks but I knew I can live a close combat from it so I just stayed in so I, I led with Mega Agron puts in work I just Mega Evolved straight up EQ'd but of course he uh, switched out uh, so he bought in the Mandibus I was thinking for some time so I just stayed in cause I thought Mandibus w can't do much to me so he just U-turns and I just straight up heavy slam to see how much it does and he goes into his Latios so I straight up go for the heavy slam it does a ton so here I was thinking anyways the Latios outspeeds me so I'll just T-wave it and I can heavy slam it the next turn so he switches out Darmanitan uh, is t waved which I was so happy about L like I said it shreds through my team so I went for the EQ straight up and he gets paralyzed which I was kind of feeling bad for but I had rest so it didn't really matter at the end of the day I just go for the heavy slam kill it so next uh, it dies which I was like literally so happy because that thing was such a pain so he brings in Absol. I was really confused about this. So he Mega Evolves and he Willow Wisps. So I was like, what just happened? Willow Wisp? Like, that was really confusing, but I was kind of happy that it's not a sweeping set at the same time. And the heavy stamp still did 50%, so I was just happy. And I completely forgot about Flamethrower and Fire Blast. So, but still, I lived it and Mega Agron straight up leads and kills two of his threats which I was really scared of so next he brings in is Cobalion I thought he's just gonna finish me off but I can try and rest up on the Mandibus so I switch out whereas he sets up his stealth rocks I could have just rested I was I was like pretty feeling but so I go into my Cobalion counter it's I, I like running like bait stuff weak to it but still it can able to it, it is able to kill it so I live like I said it does nothing flamethrower I get the burn so here 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 the eject button so I go into H2O let's let's just stop it here so some people might say that I won cause of this burn but honestly speaking it's not the reason cause Cobalion I mean you will see late game actually I'll, I'll explain you so h2o comes in cause of the eject button it's not like I switched out because uh, of the eject button he was holding it oh sorry why eject button because uh, of the red card and uh, he will switches I had a uh, vacanberry on this for the galvantula so I can live a hit skull live another and another skull so it's pretty much the same business as with the fable so I go for skull so I thought at this point I'll just heal my Mega Agron up so that Eve I can probably live a hit and rest up without that burn. So I heal bell, 
he toxics me so I was really happy because it outspeeds me and I get rid of both so it's pretty much a free turn for me uh, to heal bell up so here I decide to switch out into the mega aggron because I thought he'll toxic again and then I can rest up but he goes for the moon blast and megatron faints but megatron put in so much of work in this game he got the kill on mega Absol and the big threat dar manitan so I was pretty happy from what it did here bob the builder comes in because I know from the calcs that it can just hit so hard uh, against the flodges probably even uh, Oko it with earthquake so I just uh, go for Bob the Builder by the way uh, Bob the Builder was holding the life orb uh, so I go into H2O because uh, I didn't know what he's gonna go for so he's he goes for toxic I was not really happy about this even though I had heal bell because when Vaporeon is toxic you can't be happy and then pause 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 let's stop it right here I miss a toxic now flashback first game I missed a toxic and if there was a toxic on I could have won the uh, chestnut down and I could have probably won because I had protect on several of my mons so I could have won it then and uh, and I miss it again so I was like is this the same bad luck coming back because mandibus was uh, bulky was the only mon which could actually stop my diggers because it it really would have mattered uh, so I was really feeling that I might just lose once again cause of this toxic miss so he just whirlwinds me and I just go on into my arcane and which wasn't great legend cause legend is weak to stealth rocks and that wild chat did 49% with a critical hit and I was max attack adamant not banded and I was like oh my days it lived it and it took it like a boss I was I was really like okay this thing is a big pain cause I know he's carrying roost as well I'm pretty sure if he's not carrying roost on mandibus right there then I don't know what he's doing so I just wish up uh, probably I, I, I really wanted to pass it on to the Vaporeon because uh, it was kind of getting low and he whirlwinds I go into Vaporeon and I was like okay that's perfect I just go for a heal bell right here just heal myself up and just get to full so uh, full almost so it was like okay great and then he whirlwinds me out of there not even into dark and he bib, uh, he whirlwinds me out into Beyblade which really didn't matter as you can see but that little might have mattered who knows he toxics me I just rapid spin cause the stealth rocks were really being a pain for the RK9 and the Clefable cause <clears throat> I wanted to switch into Clefable and wish pass and all that so it was really being a pain so I just decided to get the hazards of the field I didn't understand this he probably wanted to set up the rocks but uh, Mark Punch kills it easily so I didn't understand this I go into painted pink I go for protect and goes for flash cannon trying to kill me so that was a great turn actually I went for protect not for scouting because I knew he could just tell trucks I uh, went for protect to get that extra burn damage so uh, then I switch into my RK9 probably taking uh, to take that flash cannon well uh, instead of Vaporeon of course so I go into legend and I go for flabbits. I'm like, okay, I'm anyways really low. It's legend is pretty much useless now. I'll just go for a flabbit and get as much as damage off on whatever he brings in or anything. And then pause right here again. Mandibus gets burned. So, to be honest, people will be like, okay, more hacks. Uh, Joel's one cause of hacks and all that. But not really because I had mixed uh, Mr. Toxic before. And a toxic was better than a burn so I just got a alternative which isn't really that great so I kind of didn't take it as hacks I took it as like I missed before so I just got it again in the form of less uh, less uh, less residual damage so yes 
I didn't take it really as hacks I just took it as the same like the older thing coming back just cause I missed it so paint it pink I bring it in so that I can just wish up cause I knew mandibus is gonna switch out it was obvious cause he does not want his mandibus to die as it is fully defensive uh, according to calcs which I did during the battle to see how much a wild charge will do to a fully defensive so it was fully defensive so I go to Beyblade because I knew maybe Flodges can live a hit from the Gusby, not the Mandibus at this point. So I just wanted to weaken it. So I just did that. And so yes, uh, it was successful in doing that. So my friend here, Vampire218, he really thought this mattered. But uh, I cleared it with him. Uh, I cacked him and gave him the proof. It didn't really matter because the Gusby max uh, attack the set I had. I didn't even ask him his set, I just went max defense, max HP and bold. So <clears throat> that uh, I just went for it and it still does about 65% something around that. So it didn't really matter because you know it would have uh, bullet punch does brings it about to 40% so yeah. So yeah I just knew because I had quick attack so the Latios won't be a problem. I just went for a return because he might bring in the mandibus. So I just go for a return. Then I think here a return might uh, an EQ might not kill because I didn't calc it during the battle. So I just uh, oh no I I actually just went for a return here because I was pretty sure it is gonna kill. So he actually sacked it off. He thought he he really didn't know that because we run quick attack because he was like what quick attack quick attack just saved you and I was like bro. Quick attack is common on Diggersby with that huge power. So I was really happy on that. I got the kill. It didn't really matter as well because otherwise I would have agility if I did not have the quick attack and just swept him. Rocky helmet life of damage. Then he brings in the flodges and he just protects to gain that extra leftovers damage. Hoping that uh, you know I he might just live any heal but even with that bullet punch crit it didn't really matter I could have easily got in the W there with Bob the Builder cause it still killed so there you go GD2 Vampire 218 I got uh, Agron did excellently well in the beginning of the game getting rid of two huge 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 like literally huge threats Darmanitan and Absol which could have swept through my team completely so uh, Agron did a great job there then in the mid game Mons like hit Mons up uh, of course I actually knew that once I bring uh, uh, bring the uh, flodges down to around 60% I bring the mandibles to about f uh, 40 or 50% about I literally sweep with Diggersby so uh, that is why I just put my hit Mons up went for bullet punch and just sacked it off so I got it to enough down that Bob the Builder swept cause you know I get a free switch in plus I get the damage I needed so that's it I just I just removed the threats I just bought it down to how much I needed and I just uh, got my sweeper in and just swept so as simple as that so this was week 2 of IDL I won it I'm really happy about it and even though there was a lot of hacks at the end of the day if you see the hacks didn't really matter that much cause you know if you see at the end of the day cause I even explained to you guys and all that so there's proof right here so it didn't really matter at the end of the day so check vampire out as well his channel link will be in the description down below he's a really talented guy with his preps and his battling style etc a lot of stuff his channel is great as well then check out the uh, house infinity channel which uh, where I also upload videos so check that out uh, that will be also there in the description down below so guys the whole city Jolteons take the W for week 2 and I have taken us to 1-1 one, one record 1 win 1 loss uh, so I'm pretty happy next week hope we can come back and win it 
again we can win it I can win it again for us and the World Series Jolteons so I will leave you here I'll come back next week at 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 kilometers per second and peace guys